TCT Asia is in full swing and any cubic has just announced some new machines. Let's check them out. If you guys have heard the name AnyCubic before, it's likely because we've talked about them here on this channel where we actually recommend a lot of their printers in our affordable 3D printer showdown, particularly on the resin side, which you can find right here. But of course, AnyCubic is doubling down on the resin and hey, a little bit of FFF slash FDM with their Viper system, which is a it's a name of a very fast American car spelled just a little bit differently but what i'm interested in is their photon mono x pro because the naming scheme just gets worse and their ultra 3d printer these machines are mono msla that's mass stereo lithography if you're wondering about mass stereo lithography we did a video all about different types of 3d printing right there but they are going a little crazy by adding a 64-bit mainboard and they're actually one of the first machines to have cloud connectivity functionality. And well, from a business owner standpoint, no, no, I don't like cloud because clouds are inherently insecure. I like the machines as long as I can use them outside of the cloud. And they're also one of the first machines to start utilizing the souped up version of Cheetubox, Cheetubox Pro. At least that naming scheme is good. And hey, if you are wondering, What's Cheetubox? Well, we haven't gotten there yet, but we're gonna have a whole series coming out soon on slicers for FDM and SLA slash MSLA printers to help you level up your skills. You guys love when I say level up, so I'm here to do it. So make sure you get subscribed, ring that notification bell because that series is in filming really really soon i'm excited to start that because slicers get me amped and i love it it's fun but this photon mono x pro we don't know yet in terms of size and size is always the biggest concern when you're dealing with resin printers right the bigger you can go the better but you want to maintain your pixel density right because your cell phone at 4k looks great ostensibly beautiful because it's pixel density how many pixels per inch it has is incredibly high but 4k on a 100 inch television is not going to look as crisp because the pixels are physically larger so when you're looking at going to larger resin printers like the piopoli phenom noir l piopoli has crazy naming scenes but there is the piopoli mega and some other machines coming out from piopoli that are huge and we covered it just a little bit in a video right here but it does come down to screen resolution and as these screens get cheaper we're going to see bigger resin printers hit the market for reasonable prices now the big change for me is a 64-bit mainboard which is going to enable better printing better user interface because the current user interface is honestly trash it works but it's trash and all the current resin printers right now run the same damn chi2 board they all have the same garbage lcd touch screen but it works right it's one of those if it ain't broke don't fix it and thankfully any cubic is saying it ain't broke but we're fixing it right they're putting better tires on the car just like if you put better tires on your car, it's going to perform better. Any cubic sees this, and that's why they're going with their Photon Mono X Pro, which I am just going to call the Mono X Pro because I think that's what most people are going to call it. They're claiming that UV utilization rates is 95%, which is far more efficient than comparable LCD printers. We know this. That's what Mono LCD does versus regular LCD. It's why they're considerably faster. Now, unless they've developed some other technology that is not covered in any of the articles that I could find, they're just mono LCDs. Now, if they are looking to go bigger, which we don't know yet, they haven't released sizing specs, but you can see it there. It looks to be roughly the same size as the Mono X right now. And they're just kind of souping up the interior, right? Giving it a better 
motherboard souping it up so the rails are nicer the bed platform is nicer they're adding to the machine right it's similar to when prusa made their mark 3s the mark 3s plus mark 3s is still a great machine but the mark 3s plus is just ever so slightly better and well i'm glad to see this now what a lot of you might be looking for is the viper not not a v10 supercar from dodge but viper 245 by 245 by 260 it's a good size new intelligent leveling system for one click leveling and printing okay but what right what is this new intelligent leveling system because i want to see it and hey any cubic if you're listening send me one because i'd love to take a look at it its build plate has been reimagined now featuring scratch resistant coating on the top of a spring steel and a magnetic sticker so ceramic coating potentially i don't know that is kind of cool because yeah these beds are consumable over time you will wear out your pei you will wear out your build tack you will wear out whatever material that is on your bed yes including glass beds because you will forget put down glue stick or magigoo or god knows what else and you're gonna take a chunk of the bed with you and hey let me know in the comments would you like to see a video all about bed prep and how we do it on some of our really large 3d printers that have glass beds because yeah we can do a video on it and compare different bed techniques i'm totally down for that just let me know if you want it 4.3 inch full color touch screen which looks a little similar to uh the way that the prusa mini is designed with the screen kind of off to the side on a cantilevered thing that can move up and down ui available in both english and chinese good at 260c that is most likely not going to be an all metal hot end but for what most people are going to use it's not really a big deal now mind you that ptfe liner needs to be replaced over time so we do recommend that eventually you do upgrade to an all metal hot end because yeah it's it, it's totally worth it 32-bit main board the tmc 2209s from trinamic which are a well-known consistent driver used in basically every high-end 3d printer at this point let me rephrase that every high-end consumer grade 3d printer because of course the big boys are using servos and they don't need those stupid steppers the machine is priced at 359 us dollars and while that is pretty expensive i'm sure we will see some price reductions on it and unfortunately the mono x pro and ultra 3d printers they're not releasing any specs yet so it's more of a tease and not so much a gimme 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 at 245 by 245 by 260 with a non all metal hot end printing speed up to 180 millimeters per second i mean look if you send me one i'll test that but i i don't believe it 110 c bed it's pretty good trans flash which is an sd card dimensions are a little big and i'm I like their move their spool holders down, but that's a big spool holder. There are better options for spool holders out there. But this looks to me just like a souped up Ender 3, realistically, or a souped up style of Ender 3. So the size is nice, but the price is a little high. So we'll have to see how this thing does. 32 bit board, full color touch screen, those are nice options. And if the auto bed leveling is any good, then it might be worth it over an ender 3 pro so maybe when this comes out we'll have to get one in for review and take a look at it but let me know what do you think what do you think of the viper but really what are you excited about for these resin printers do you think it's going to be bigger i'm sure the price is going to go up but it's the ultra to me the mono x pro is just a little bit of a change you know a little salt bay on top of the mono x as it is but the ultra ultra i'm guessing is gonna be big and i really want bigger resin printers because resin printers are fun and big resin printers are more fun so let me know in the comments below what are you most excited for from any cubic are you gonna be buying a viper or do you think it's way too expensive i'd love to have a conversation with you down in the comments and hey while you're down there don't forget to get subscribed Leave us a like and ring that notification bell so you know when those videos all about the slicers and supports come out. We'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to call your loved ones. And as always, keep making awesome. Have a good one.
means to have cloud connectivity functionality. And well, from a business owner standpoint, no, 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 no. 